Okay, here are the directions on how to do orthographic worksheet number one. As you can see, there are 20 problems on the front and there are another five problems on the back. So make sure that you are doing the front and the back. I'm gonna show how to, I want these done by doing number one for you. So looking at number one, it's right here. When you look at these, the front view is anything that faces off this way. So I'll highlight the front view. Okay, the front view is what you wanna draw first. There are dimensions here given, but you do not need to draw each one of these to the proper dimension. What I am asking is that you draw them proportionally. So for instance, obviously this is five inches wide, two inches tall. So you would draw it wider than tall. So I would start by drawing the front view. Make sure on a blank sheet of paper, you're leaving yourself space above it for the top view and to the right of it for the right view. So I'm gonna put number one here and I'm gonna draw the front view first. As you can see, I drew it longer than it is taller, so that would be proportional. I did not have to draw it five inches by two inches. If you would like to use a ruler to make your lines nice and neat, that would be good. Okay, I gotta draw a line here, because these are two parts. From here, you can either do the top view or the right side view. I would like to see construction lines, so I'm gonna bring a very lightly drawn construction line over from every intersection point. Then I'm going to draw the right side view. Just like that. So here's your right side view. Notice my right side view lines up with the front view. It's not taller than the front view. It's not shorter. This level lines up with that. That's why these construction lines help line that up. Now the top view. I'm bringing construction lines up. I'm gonna draw the top view. If you look at it, there's one, two sections on the top view. So I need to draw a line here. Again, drawing it proportional because this part is not as wide as that part. So that's why I drew this one wider than that. Notice that I put a space between all of my views. There's a space here between my top and my front and a space between my right and my front. This is how I'd like you to do each one. Please do not draw them too small that we can't see what's happening. Make sure you're drawing them very neatly, so if you need to use a ruler, please do so. Make sure when you draw construction lines, they are drawn very lightly, and the construction lines are not touching the objects. That way, you, people don't get the construction line confused as being part of the object. Some of these will have hidden lines, some will not. Make sure you are showing hidden lines when needed, and also the same with center lines. If you have any questions, you will have to ask your instructor when you get back to class.